Hey, hello, I welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Grantha. So, on uh, last video lecture of the load demonstration, we discussed about like uh, how the file and file handling operation work. So, today we are going to discuss. Suppose we have only the URL, like we are today we are going to design the API scripting. So, the customer and the client just be given to us only the URL. And uh, they told, okay, now you need to develop your uh, load and script. So how can we uh, develop that script and how can we put the checkpoint also we need to understand. So first of all, I just click it there, the some of the dummy site. So uh, with that, what the uh, output you will get. So if I will show you, so that is our response for that particular uh, URL. So that you can check on your uh, uh, browser and then you can also find out what the response is coming so that is our response for the particular url address and now we need to develop the script so for that case two to three things is most required if you go there so that is the one custom request we need to create and there what the information is required first what the url we need to use and second which type of the method they are using they are using the get, move, get, post, put, what the method they are using on the particular URL that we need to understand. Okay, now we know that that the particular uh, REST API, it is the get method. So I just given here as a method name as a get. Now if suppose uh, we will execute the script. So before get, just go on the runtime setting. And on the runtime setting also inside the log, you need to click on the data written by server also. Okay, one another important things, whenever you are executing the REST API, so mostly the response will be either on the XML format, otherwise it will be on the JSON format. So now we are going to execute that script. So once you will execute that script, so the script will pass. Okay, the script has been passed, but we don't know if we, we get the proper response or not. So how you can put the checkpoint? So how we can put the checkpoint using it? So go on the particular request and right click. So there is a one option is a source snapshot. Just click on the source snapshot. So there also you can verify your response things. It is getting properly or not. Now I need to put the some checkpoint. So because this is the JSON format, so we need to use the JSON type of response uh, correlation. So there, what the syntax for that? The syntax is web break underscore cf param underscore json. Then the parameter name. So I just given is a parameter name as a trip. Then query string. So that's all code will be there. So after the dollar, how we need to find out? So first, if you go, so after the curly braces, one is a status. Okay. So that's the reason I just given here the one single dot with the status. So it will tell me only the status value. If suppose I want to the below like inside the data what are the employees and employee id so for that just we need to put the two checkpoint uh, sorry uh, we need to put here two dots and then data so if we'll put that one then it will show the all employees id details so first i will execute with only the status i just commented the first so uh, if i will execute with that symbol so it will show me the status is what the status to say if it is a success failure whatever is there so just now I executed. So if you go there and you can see the iterator for the trip, it is showing the success. Now I want to see for the all implies detail also. So how can we do that one? So just uncommented that one and comment the below one. Now I already showed you guys like whenever we are seeing the so snapshot. So whenever you build the data, so after data, whatever the information will be there, it will show the all information. Now, if we will execute, so inside the data, whatever the JSON response will be there, it will show on your response. So now if you go there, I just save the data in the trip. So after trip, you can easily see the all values is coming, whatever is available for you. So if you go on the snapshot again, so here also you can see. So from data, ID one, ID implies, and everything it showed there, right? The same thing if you go on the output, it is showing the same value there. Okay, so this is a simple way how can we create and how can we develop the our uh, API script using the load and a tool. So only 
the main things you need to create the custom request the requirement is you should have the url and which method the particular url is support so those two things is more important and another you that the checkpoint which you need to put to verify your script is getting the proper response or not okay so uh, this video we will uh, be discuss only that much on the next video we will uh, try to discuss about the sum of uh, either string functions like how can we do the string copy function use on the different way and what are the use of that okay so if anyone missed the lecture lecture of the previous video so just go on the tech grantha channel and uh, watch the playlist for the low learner and jenkins tutorial is also going on so you can watch the jenkins video also okay thanks to all please share the videos to your friends and colleagues so they will also get the knowledge from that thanks to all